like him because they no doubt about it, the fans are on tenterhooks ahead of this one. They know full well that the heroes could, today, clinch the league title. Will they do it? It's Everton, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. A lovely day for football, and a warm welcome to Goodison Park here on Merseyside. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And today could be a significant one for the travelling fans who are hoping their team will secure the league title. It's Everton taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, the away fans have come here in their numbers, expecting their team to clinch the title today. What an achievement this would be for the club and its players. But they've still got to put in a good performance and win here. It certainly won't be easy. Must score! Able to close down the shot. And here's how Everton line up. Well, it's a 4-5-1, so they will be very compact out of possession. But they'll need to break forward quickly when they win the ball back. And key to that will be the wide players. This should be a really interesting game. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, there's an example of how to do it, dealing with a corner. Lisandro Martinez. And so a look at the table, and while they have time on their side with a win today, Stuart, they'll be crowned champions. Well, Derek, they just need to perform as they've done for most of the season. Get the win, and then they can celebrate. They certainly deserve it. Full credit, wonderful stop. Pap Gay. Well, they have it again. My goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top notch. Wilfried Nyonto. Everton unable to retain possession. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And that's going to be all for him in this game anyway, Stuart. And if they're not careful, it could be all for the team as well. They're going to be under a lot of pressure now. Well, standing off them here, aren't they being too passive? Well, that was incisive. And whipped into the box. And firing it towards goal on the volley. Could have gone in. Well, that's a big chance. Yes, it's on the volley, but I think he should score there. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Oh, danger here. Can he finish? And keeping it out. He's driven in the corner. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And a chance for the lead. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Fernandes. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. And a quick reminder, we have FA Cup semi-final action for you here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Manchester City. Well, what a game that should be. Played in a great atmosphere and the Cup final awaits the winners. United might be able to cash in. Looking for a teammate. Great defending here. Can he finish? And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener.
Well, United very much in control over the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Take it away. Well, he's certainly not alone. Delhi. Delhi Ali. Young. Bruno Fernandes has it. Not made it look routine, but read it well. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, no surprise there. He's a little bit upset, isn't he? Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Oh, it's in! And as things stand, they will be crowned champions! Well, they're in the driving seat. Can they now see this through? Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Calvert Lewin. Papage. And now Dominic Calvert Lewin. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Scott McTominay. And he has options available. Chances on. Well, there's the half-time whistle, and it's all going swimmingly. They're just 45 minutes away from being crowned champions today. Well, what a position to be in. They just need to perform well in this second half, and as you said, they will be the champions, and fully deserved, I would say. They've been excellent this And the ball moving again. Work to do for Everton in this second half. Rashford. Feeding it through. It could be up for grabs. There it is! Magical moment. Surely one hand on the trophy. Well, history beckons. Surely they can't throw this away now. Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Scott McTominay. Garner. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And they could do damage. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Yeah. 
Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. James Garner. Now with Delhi. It will be decision time, the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final. And you'll see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Manchester United against Barcelona. What a good second leg that should be. The first leg had lots of quality, and I'm expecting more of the same. Here's a change for Manchester United. Garner. Now with Delhi. Well, very effective play in possession. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. 30 minutes to go, then. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. The crossbar got in the way! Well, he couldn't strike it much better than that, could he? That was a great effort. Given away by Manchester United. Dodo. And continues his run. Can he put it in? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. While the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Rafael Varane. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Varane. Martial! And not cleared away properly. And well positioned to clear. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. But he keeps going. Opportunity! And that's a very good parry. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Papagé. And on the ball, Keane. Antuna. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Chances on. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Corner given to United. Number ten, Marcus Rashford. Who can they pick out? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Options in the centre. And tidy defensive play. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Running with the ball confidently. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. So a personnel change then. Played in there. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Oliver skip. He could pick out a teammate. And there goes the final whistle. I'll tell you what, for weeks. There's the whistle, and the celebrations can truly begin in earnest now. They are the champions. And no doubt about it, they've been the best team this season, and they fully deserve this title. What a brilliant achievement for everybody involved with this club. Well, the celebrations will continue long into the night, and don't forget they'll receive the trophy at the next home game. Naturally, we'll have all the coverage of that live here on EA TV.